Holy shit, non-binary people, Romy Mojo here, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'm covering my eyes because I can't believe what I saw from Euphoria this past week. Oof, if Zendaya does not get nominated, I am telling you, it is a sham, it is a scam. The whole episode. The whole episode. At first, I was wondering, I'm thinking, this is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. But over time, I was thinking, oh, no, let's keep going. Let's keep going. It's starting off with her <laughs> being in the room in her home. And I'm thinking, what's going on? Why is she upset? Why is she bugging out? Why is she going at Gia? Oh, oh, I hope Gia is in therapy because Rue is doing, has always been doing the most. Poor Gia, poor, poor Gia. <sighs> Rue trying to figure out where's her drugs, where's her, it's, and her trying to make it seem like, oh, it was just weed, it was just weed. And then the mom's like, huh, what, you smoke it? And then she realizes, oh, you didn't really didn't say anything. So then the mom, long story, very short, they got rid of the suitcase, mind you, the suitcase full of drugs. The suitcase full of drugs. Got rid of it. Even I, even I would have been like, now hold up. How did, how did my 16 year old, 17 year old, whatever, get a suitcase and then that? We need to go and do some thinking about this. We need to put this somewhere else for a minute and figure this all out. They flushed it. But when I tell you Zendaya, a.k.a. Rue, put on the performance of her life, going from trying to almost fight her mother, fight her sister, kick down the door. And I said, oh, that door is getting kicked. I know that hurts. <laughs> kick down the door. Almost basically throw herself against the door. I said, oh, she's getting bruised. She's getting bruised up. There's no way. There's no way she's not getting bruised up. She is getting bruised i was like oh this is acting this is acting and <laughs> how was how was uh how was eli that's why i call him i don't care if it's elliot i'm calling him eli how was eli and jules there the whole time rue is having basically like a panic attack an anxiety attack and next thing we know we hear a soft voice coming from the living room. They, f we flushed it. Huh? <laughs> I laughed. I'm terrible. I laughed. We flushed it. You flushed it. <laughs> and so then here comes Eli. Oh, I told, I told Rue. I, no, no, no. I told uh, Jules that, you know, you were still using, obviously that we were using, and I know because we were using together. And part of me felt like, okay, this needed to happen, but I don't think I'm the biggest fan of Eli being the reason for it happening. I know uh, Jules went and called, of course, Rue's mom, but there's just something about Eli that I just feel like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Almost like, is he even a real person? <laughs> because it almost doesn't feel like he's a real person. <laughs> it's just like, where'd you come from? How are you just randomly plop, put here to go and aid in Rue getting clean or potentially getting clean or trying to get clean? <laughs> but I guess, I mean, that's real life. So then, of course, she's pissed at them and she's telling Jules, oh, you're a so-and-so, you're a such-and-such, and you're nothing and I hate you and, uh, you know, this is your fault. And, and I told you, I told you that this relationship situation not friendship but for the relationship was primarily because jules was tr felt bad and did not want rue to relapse that was the whole point of all this so with rue relapsing it was like oh we don't need to be in a relationship anymore i don't need to fake the funk anymore nope nope so then that's how she was able to go and tell rue's mom Eli leaves because I was like, yes, leave. Jules eventually left once 
Rue calm down. Because at one point, Rue was making sense. She was like, you don't understand. I need the suitcase. Like, because you, you don't understand how bad things are. You don't understand. And I'm thinking to myself, because of the fact that the mother is literally covering Gia. Because it was like, two things for certain. We may fight. And you, you know, you're not about to just randomly put your hands on me. But you're definitely not randomly going to put your hands on my child. You're my child too. But when it's a situation like this. I'm going to have to treat you like a person on the street. <laughs> so then the, the mother says, oh, let's go to the emergency room. Let's go to the emergency room. Okay, great. As long as it's not rehab, we're not going in the direction of the emergency room once they're in the car. <laughs> so then Rue realizes, and when I tell you, she just starts to do the most in that car. And once they stopped, she got out. And she ran into traffic. I was like, oh, gosh, she going to hit someone, please. Oh, I was like, no, please. Oh, no. And poor Gia is just screaming. I'm thinking, oh, ooh, her blood pressure, her blood pressure. Keep her, Lord, keep her. So now Rue's on the run. And I'm thinking, oh, this is an episode. And Rue went to Fez's house. Well, the other place, because the original place, they remember they had to move because now they're in danger. Again, because of Rue. So now they had to go to the other spot. She knew what the other spot was. They went there. Uh, she went there and she, he didn't have drugs there. I mean, allegedly. He didn't have drugs there. So then she went into his grandmother's room to see what medication she had. And that's when he was like, oh no, that's where you draw the, you cross the line. You're not family anymore once you do that. And I loved every moment of it. Cause I was like, yes, finally, finally, everyone is reaching their breaking point. This is real life. You can't just go and do all this stuff and not expect for people to be like, oh no, we've had enough. So I loved that. He kicked her out. And she kept running. At one point, she saw, I said, Rue, who are you? Because here she goes, staking out a house. She sees the people leave. And then she goes in. And I'm the whole time I'm thinking, honey bunches of oats. Every time you stop somewhere, you have to use the bathroom because you're going through withdrawal. And how are you doing all this running? How are you jumping over fences? And once I found out that Zendaya did her own sons, I said, because that is what I'm talking about. She went into that house. I thought that dog was going to attack her. Not that dog being all cute as ever. And then her getting caught when she was trying to steal from... Well, she did. She stole from them. Sidebar, do not make your password to your um, security box 11111. Come on now. Come on now. Do better, people. Do better. The fact that she was able to get out of that house was able to evade the police. And again, this is all out of sequence. The, the part where she was evading the police and she was jumping. And I'm thinking, who is this woman? Aren't you in pain? Aren't you going through withdrawals? Aren't you hungry? Aren't you tired? That adrenaline, woo, that adrenaline, that adrenaline will do it. She's still not lost to us. She, if she can do all that, <laughs> I was like, whoa. Mind you, she hid in a garbage bin. First of all, I'm thinking, who is this crafty woman? <laughs> Where's this Ruben? <laughs> this entire episode, I was like, well, who is this? At one point, she went to Lexi's house because she needed to use the bathroom. And she was going to go and see what she can get. Because, come on, she knows that uh, Cassie likes to have fun. Likes to partake in a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So she went to the right spot. She actually did. Problem was that everyone was there. Kat was there. Uh, Maddie, Maddie was there. And it was like, hey, Rue, how are you? You look, mm, you, well, I mean, you look, you look a mess. <laughs> Here comes knock, knock, knock. Well, Rue went to the bathroom. I'm assuming that Lexi probably called Rue's mom or something or got a call from Rue's mom. And because, you know, you know how she is now. She was there and it was the moment when <laughs> everyone was talking. I was like, wait, you relapsed and all this stuff. And Rue 
went savage when Rude talked about how because Cassie was all oh well you know Rue when it comes to like rehab and getting clean as they say just take it one step at a time one day at a time I was like Rue punch Cassie punch her because this can't be life right now how dare you? you're talking to a full-blown at so when Rue had that look of Oh, you want to talk about dishonesty and one day at a time. What about when I saw you get into Nate's car and then make out with him? I tell you, Cassie. <laughs> I, I should put the picture over there. Cassie was like, huh? <laughs> and then when Rue was, when Maddie, Maddie was like, what this happened? Oh, it was, what was it? Right around New Year's or after New Year's? And so when Maddie was like, you bleeping bleep, I'm a bleep. <laughs> Cassie ran up the stairs. Why did Cassie? I thought Cassie was tough. I thought Cassie was a boss. I thought that she was crazier than Maddie. I mean, we all knew that wasn't the case, but that's what she said to Nate, huh? You wasn't too crazy when you was running the stairs. <laughs> and everyone's trying to save her from Maddie. <laughs> and so then Rue slipped out. Slipped out the house. Oh. And she had her lowest moment. Her lowest moment. When she went over to boss woman, drug lord, king queen pin. Went to her house. And I'm thinking, Rue, why are you there? Rue, she's going to. She, she's going to find out that you don't have her money. You use the drugs. And. Now she's going to want to collect. So Rue had cash. She had 2000 in cash. And then she had a bunch of jewelry. It's almost like this is not a pawn shop. I'm going to need cash. And Rue was going through such bad withdrawals. She could not hide it. And so then she was like, hey, do you have some pills? And I was like, no, get in the shower, honey. No, get in the bath, honey. Um, and then she took out the morphine. And so there's a debate as far as if she didn't want to if it was because she did not want to feed Rue's addiction, why she just didn't give her more pills? Or um, since I heard that sometimes they give morphine to addicts because it actually helps stabilize them and uh, compared to them just taking the drugs that they wanted to take. But the whole thing was that I'm thinking... Why is this woman reiterating again? Hey, there's more than one way for a woman to make money and you know, essentially everyone has to pay up and all this stuff. So it made me very nervous for Rue. Very, very nervous for Rue. I'm thinking, oh, Rue, oh, she gonna drug you. And when she was putting the needle in, because Rue normally doesn't do stuff with needles. So I guess that means she probably didn't do the heroin. Um, I'm guessing that she didn't do the heroin. I mean, I don't know if you can smoke it. If you can smoke it, like maybe, but uh, I was like, oh no, oh no. So when she woke up, I was thinking, wait, why does this house look different? Why does this house look different? What room is this? I was convinced that she was sold off. So when she was still in that house, I was thinking, uh-oh, but you're locked in. And she was. The fact that she was able to get out of that house, even though the birds kept making noise, I was like, woof, Rue, you better be thankful that you left when you did, because maybe she would have been sold if it was a little bit later, I don't know. Or I don't know if there's another like larger plan at play, but I, that scared me to bits, scared me to bits. So that's when you realize, oh, things are going, things have gone all the way south. Things are really bad. And I don't know how much worse things can get. So let me just go home. And I'm glad that she finally went home. Because I was thinking, Rue, you're not going to make it. You are not going to make it. And for the people wondering how long was she there, the clothes that her mother had, it looked like it was the same clothes. So it, it really probably was just like the next morning type of thing. Whew. The show. The show. I'm stressed. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm stressed. Stay tuned for my future... Euphoria recaps, I am stressed. Oh, I'm tired.